All right, I was not gonna do a sharpening video on this knife, but someone asked me on my Instagram page, was I gonna do a sharpening video? So here I have the uh, CRK Umnumzan Tanto blade loaded into my Wicked Edge commercial. I have it on the upper uh, holes right here. The reason I did that is because at 15 degrees per side, the stones were very close to these jaws and I just wanted more clearance. So I raised it up to the top setting and you can see clearly that the uh, tip of the knife is at B. And the only reason why I did that is because the closer this knife is to me, the less wide this is going to be out here. So this is going to make sure I keep a, a fairly consistent um, angle and edge all the way to the, the edge right here. I'm not going to sharpen the tip. The tip is not meant to be sharp. It's meant to scrape and pry and things of that nature. So I'm not worried about the tip. I'm only worried about this primary uh, bevel right here. So I set the Wicked Edge Pro or Wicked Edge Commercial to 15 degrees per side. That is going to lay this bevel back some. I, I'll let you know I already cheated. I have black Sharpie on the edge here. And what I do is I take my 1,000 grit stone and I rub that stone along the edge until I see exactly where the uh, marker is coming off. And I don't know if you can see it here, but it's coming off at the bottom, like down towards the shoulder. So that lets me know that this is steeper than 15 degrees. So I'm gonna have a wider bevel here, but I'm okay with that because I think 15 degrees per side is good for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna do that on both sides um, to check and see where the Sharpie's being removed see if things are even. Uh, sometimes when you clamp these jaws, not in this case because these are uh, floating jaws, but when you clamp it on the old system, it will tilt the blade one way or the other. So you had to really focus on getting that blade lined up. You had to jam some chamois in there or whatever. Um, it was a whole nightmare, but that is what I have. Top settings, B. I tried to make the blade as parallel as possible. Uh, to the base that is so this edge here is as parallel to the bases as, as I could get it by eye This is a user knife. So I'm not really worried about it being just exactly correct. So <clears throat> Usually what I would do if I wanted to make sure it was exactly correct And this is going to be a little hard because there's a curve to this belly to this uh, edge right here I would take my angle cube and I would sit it on top of here and I would try to get it set at zero when it's on and sitting on the bevel of that knife. But this is a user knife. It's not going to make a world of difference. I, I just want to get another sharp edge on here. So I'm going to use my thousand grit stones, remove some of this Sharpie to see where I'm removing Sharpie at. Then I'm going to jump over to my 400 and 600 grit stones. And I'm probably going to finish with 600 grit and then do some stropping on some one micron diamond paste or uh, diamond spray that I just recently picked up. So that's the plan. Uh, let's see. I will. I'll go ahead and pull these off of here, and I will do some sharpening with the 400 grit. But I'm going to cut this. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have another video where I've done this whole sharpening process on a, a Strider. It's the same exact process, guys. Basically what you want to do is you want to, and I'm right-handed, so I start on the right side usually. Um, you want to place your stone onto the blade. You want to use medium, you don't want to use a lot of pressure, medium pressure, and you just want to go up and down in a motion like this. And what is, you're essentially trying to do is remove enough material to form what is called a burr. Now what a burr is, is when you get the metal to the point where if this is the edge and it's kind of dull, you sharpen this side enough to where it's kind of like this. So you'll feel a little lip on this side of the blade, the opposite side from where you're sharpening. Then you're going to go ahead and sharpen the other side and then it'll, it'll be like this. And then you want to kind of even that out as you go along. Usually I don't, if I'm going to go all the way to a polish, I will try to get that burr off at the ceramic stone, which is the 1200, 1600 grit stone, because I don't want that burr on there when I go over to the leather straps. Um, here, obviously, I'm only going 400, 600, and then I'm going to jump over to a strop. So at 600, I'm going to try to remove that burr. So that's the process here. I'm going to cut the video for a second, 
Uh, I tell you what, one thing I want to show you guys before we get started. Let's see if this is sharp at all. Okay, that's that's the kind of sharpness that we have. So not too impressive. I'm going to sharpen this up to 600 grit. Then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what we have. All right. <clears throat> I finished with the 600, I've apexed the edge, I've removed the burr, and this is currently where we're at with the sharpness. So as you can see, it'll slice cut very easily, and it'll even push cut easily. So the burr has been removed, the knife is very sharp, now I'm going to take it off of here and I'm going to move it on to a strop with some one micron diamond spray. Uh, the one, few things that I'll say from sharpening this specific blade is with this curve right here and the hollow grind, it, it you have to kind of be a little bit careful once you get out here to the, uh, the meeting point of these two edges. And I'll also say back here at the heel, you need to be a little bit careful with your stone because it, it's easy to hit the shoulder a little bit. Uh, let's see what else. It deburred fairly easily, no real issues. Um, it's nice and sharp, but still toothy because it is a 600 grit edge. And I definitely think that it's ready for stropping, and I think it's going to serve me well for a decent amount of time. 